Welcome back. It's an honor and a privilege to be viewed by you benevolent souls. Today I would like to put some good out into the world and see if I can help some fellow artists overcome imposter syndrome. It's a very mysterious metaphysical state that keeps most people from ever expressing their true creativity and is probably the leading unquantifiable cause of suicide. Imposter syndrome is best described as the feeling that you're undeserving of your achievements and accolades, that you are actually far less competent and intelligent than you might be perceived, and that everybody is on the verge of finding out that you're a naive hell person. The connection to artists is pretty obvious. You know, there's a myriad of reasons to why an artist might face imposter syndrome. Uh, you know, there's obviously the fear of your work being misunderstood, that you're not as good as your peers, the fear that you're not seeing the fatal flaw in your artwork that everybody else can see and you're blind to it. Every artist has experienced that feeling when they create something very technically impressive compared to their other work especially, and they immediately feel like a fraud and that if this work even goes out into the world, then all of a sudden you're expected to be better than you actually are and you just feel this immense guilt. Imposter syndrome doesn't require a very long explanation. Uh, it's pretty well known, especially to other artists watching this video. This is the part of the video where you might expect me to tell you to not listen to the haters. Just keep going and, and that uh, you deserve a break. You work really hard. You're a great artist. Take a break, man. Fuck it, who cares, right? <laughs> Fuck, sorry, there was a <laughs> little fire in my kitchen, huh? <laughs> See, the thing is, that's all horseshit. The only way to overcome imposter syndrome is to meditate and take mushrooms. Just kidding, but not really. Now, speaking from experience, the only way I have overcome the self-doubt, the crippling self-doubt, is uh, I just don't attach myself to my work. Once it's done, it's done. I look at it and I usually just say, I can do better. I think that's the only thing you should think when you finish a piece. What else is there to do? whine about it, get overconfident, it, it, none of those emotions get you anywhere. You look at your artwork and you say, I can do better next time, and you keep going. All you can do is just expect yourself to get better and keep going. With those insights, I want to say thank you, follow the light, and God bless to do mushrooms and meditate.